All right, everyone, what about here? And welcome to Skeletal Adventure. Avenger. Adventure. Yeah. Anyway, uh, it's a uh, hack and slashy looking roguelike by 10 tons. I look, I see 10 tons, I play 10 tons. The games never really like go truly above and beyond, but there's something amazing about them all the same. And they're always incredibly, it's like comfort food, kind of. Okay, stranger standing over me, total darkness. After a while, though, a strange vision appeared. I got bonered. Whoops. I think I might have skipped some things. Oh well. Time to do some boner stuff. I don't play these games for the plot. Maybe I should, but eh. Okay. Destroy everything. Hit fast and do combos. Attack with that. Fair enough. Now I think this is slightly roguelike-ish. Probably more roguelite, judging by uh, their past games. They specifically made... Judge, which was less roguelite, but they made Neon Chrome, which I think is my favorite. They also made Dismantle, which I should probably see uh, specifically if they finished Dismantle. Namely, dashing through walls is okay. You can go around them anyway. Wait, what? Does that mean... Okay, not all wall can be dashed through. Try your secondary on these. All right, so I've got a jump slam. Dash over traps, dash me to your feet. Okay. Oh. Don't do that. That's gonna hurt. Alright, absorb. Ah, pick a perk. Absorb powers from dead adventurers. So, primary attack deals 10 additional fire damage or lightning damage to nearby enemies when dashing. I'm gonna go for the flaming weapons. The dash seems really useful, depending. Okay, open up inventory to see collected perks. See, that's what I like to hear. Whenever I play a roguelike, you want the perks. Throw your skull, kill the dummy. Grab your skull by running over to it. Okay. You can also recall your skull from afar. Kill the kobold. Fair enough. As a giant thing, hold to use. Oh, it's a winch. I thought it was going to be a catapult. I thought I was going to literally catapult my head over or through or myself or something. Good luck. We'll see how this goes. Baby steps. Now, do I get to keep that fire sword? Ah, so we got a peasant hat, trinket, sword, boots. Bagita the bear. Fountain of gold. Gain a fountain of gold every time you heal. Interesting. I'm not seeing my perks necessarily. Unless my perks are purely associated with certain weapons. Hello. Ah, my latest minion. Prepare to do my bidding. What is happening? I was... Oh, what's happening? I was murdered. I woke up in a casket. Went through some weird boot camp. Yes, I've reanimated you. Usually re reanimated skeletons are a bit less bright, to put it nicely. Who did this to me? I will make them pay. Maybe I'll allow that later. For now, you'll obey. If it gets me revenge, I guess so. I should start acting like reanim reanimated remains do. Good, you'll be my one man undead army. You'll find some, some of my enemies from the map. Slay them and bring back the bloodstones from your quest and I'll help you on your revenge. All right. Quest map. Hi, we got things to do. Massive cash, beautiful cash, dangerous pit, things. I guess I'm going to do the bountiful one. Oh, interesting. Also has local co-op. Massive cash looks like it's going to last a little longer, so let's do that. Enemy level. Some enemies are leveled. They're more dangerous than regular enemies of the same type, doing more damage or having more health. Cool. Well, it's fine. New mo Monsterpedia. Well, we got rats. Rats don't last long. Yep, figured as much. Okay. Oh. Right. Aiming your skull. Play with keyboard and mouse. You can set to aim the skull with the mouse or moving in the options. Oh, shit. Ow. Right. Okay. Turns out these guys aren't actually as dangerous as I thought they were. Uh, they're very stun lockable, which is much to my benefit. Okay. Collect coins to buy skill upgrades and items in the hall. Gotcha. So, coins are meta currency. Got her. I don't know what her plan was. Oh, what do you mean? You mean to tell me. Okay, 
avoiding that for a second. You mean to tell me... There we go. The, uh... Shoot, what was I going to say? The fireballs do not hit enemies in the back. This is the kind of game that should absolutely have friendly fire. 100%. Okay. I hopefully I haven't passed any dead adventures yet. I certainly want to find as many of those as possible. But yeah, you really can just stun lock most of these enemies kind of easily, for better or worse. Okay, yeah, let's go this way. Let's see what we got over here. Anything here? Oh, we got this sucker. There we go. I wonder if you can do like a chain dash. There we go. Whoop. There we go. Mostly works. There's the winch. But it feels like the winch might be the way out of here. But there's a dead adventure. So I'll get it open. No, it looks like this is a dead end. But with some swank loot. Okay. Poison enemies with primary attacking, dealing five poison damage, or when hit, necrotic puzzle, puddles, puzzles. Let's do that. Okay. Perks are not permanent. The teleporting spell is not perfect. Okay. But that's, I hope, I hope those perks are permanent at least for the run. That's really all that matters. It'd be pretty bad if it was like on a per room basis. There would be, ugh, that'd be rough. There would be blood. I would be upset. Okay. I'm just curious what kind of busted perks we can get to over the course of this. So there's that. But like, we're not done yet? I would have considered going for the status effect. The status effect, the, the basic poison. There we go. Luckily, ogres are slow. And yeah, they don't turn very fast. So I can really, as soon as I get behind them, they're done. What if I'll get a character that works based off of backstabs? Because I think if I could get somebody that works like that, I'm going to be really strong. Maybe. We'll see. Oh, well, that money is toast. Yeah. That's okay. How much further th does this dungeon go? Yeah, that, that money's gone. It's fine. Okay. Now, it looks like there's a little bit of a curve. Okay, energize when... Wait. Gain temporarily energized by an, by an item affix and when clearing a level. Oh, I see. So I've cleared it. Okay, so effectively, I am hella fast. What are these? Oh, those are just exits. Okay. Well, first, let's break that. Drink this. Healing. Only health from fountains, potions, and perks. If you run out, you die. Okay. And we get some money. Because that's how this character works. I don't see anything else. Let's not blow ourselves up. So we got... It looks like the times three might be implying that there are... Oh, maybe there's a weapon rack and three potential corpses. I'm going to bet that's it. I think I'm going to stay... Just go top. That's going to be... That's going to be my basic judgment here. We'll see how it goes. Two out of six... Oh, oh, you can block those. Good to know. I am so glad my skull. Okay. Looks like the the damage puddles. Oh boy. Hello. There we go. Looks like the damage bottles don't hurt me, which is good. Gosh, that would be an absolute trash tier perk if it did. Anyway, base impressions are, this is a basic roguelike. It doesn't necessarily do anything terribly fancy as far as combat goes, but that doesn't necessarily mean it does anything terrible either. Uh, it's 
comfort food in roguelike form. Gosh, I should probably load Neon Chrome back up at some point. There's something kind of fun about that game. I It was really heavy on the meta progression to the point where I think most people would probably be... Oh, gear. And stash. All items you collected will go to your stash. Okay, where I can equip or sell them between quests. I also have a peasant hat. Invulnerability shield for 8 seconds when healing at full health. Sure, why not? Oh. Oh no, that's on the other side. Yeah, so we've got the staircase out, healing potion there, other things. Break that if I can. The level design is kind of... It's kind of just standard walk into rooms. It's weird. It's like on one hand... Whoop. Okay, that hurt a bit. Okay, this is leather armor. 60 health, 21 armor. That sounds like it's really helpful. Perfect. Okay, now, yes, we did. We had a perk here. I should have gone for it. Okay, enemies near you are frozen when you're hit, or skull produces necrotic puddle. Oh. 100%. Retrieving my skull is maybe not as worth uh, worth the effort, but I do like the puddle. That's going to be huge. Okay, found it or explosion. I like, I'm going to go for the fountain of gold. It's probably a bad idea. I probably do need, holy shit, okay, that looks spooky. I probably do need the retaliatory hits. I'm not big on retal retaliation damage. Obviously, you know, to some degree, retaliation damage is super helpful. Uh, purely from the perspective of, like, enemy hits you, you want to make sure they're gone as soon as possible. And the easiest way to do that is by exploding or leaving the poison puddles or whatever. There we go. There we go. Yeah, I wonder if I can, like, chain toss my, my skull a bunch. I feel like there's a lot of potential for that. You know, what would really make this game sing to some degree would be... I don't remember how many of you guys remember Skull the Hero Slayer. I'm assuming a number of people know that game. Okay, that's mine. Repair armor. Oh. That... I actually have to worry about my armor. Oh! Armor is temp health. I would. I was kind of hoping I was just going to reduce damage uh, sent my direction. That makes sense. But it's it's temp health of a sort. Okay. Avoid that. Go around here. Brain her with the skull. Ow. Well. It was worth a shot. It didn't work out. I am just... You may call me Puddles the Skeleton. Two bloodstones from Revenge Target or... Necrotic... Yeah, rotten feet. Yeah, I think the dash damage is way better. In retrospect. I think... That actually has a lot of potential to it. Okay. Now, unless I'm mistaken, we have a couple of ogres. There we go. I'm just gonna... There we go. Yeah, that works. These are done. And I think we've cleared the whole level. Cool. Grab that. Pick up hammer? Way more damage. Slow, powerful. Yeah, sure, why not? Okay, we wanted to go just stay up. Yeah, the more perks I can get, the better. I think. Enemy shields have shields. Their attacks cannot be interrupted before the shield is destroyed. Fair enough. Okay. Just 
not even interested in fighting enemies conventionally. Bonk. I think I prefer something a little faster, to be honest. But, you know what? It is what it is. Oh. I don't actually get the point of the winches. I think it's supposed to be so you can't, like, snatch and grab really fast. Skull automatically returns shortly after being... Yeah. That's going to be really good. Free thinker. It's not that fast, but it's enough. There we go. Logic is this way I can fling my skull around, not have to worry about repairing it. And that alone is actually kind of handy. Uh, let's see. Okay, so this guy's got the shield. There we go. There they go. Why fight when you can do that? Okay, I gotta find a key. Ah, I found the key. Stay away. I think she's dead. Nope, she ain't. Dang durable lady. back. He's back. Ned. How do I get the key? Oh, of course. Oop. That. More skulls for everybody. Enjoy my puddles, Cretans. I do not fight. I puddle. Ever see a skeleton get puddly? You don't wanna. It's gross. I disgust me. Well, you know, I was kinda iffy on the idea of the hammer. I'm... It's growing on me. I think I'd still prefer something quicker. Trinket. Flick more damage when, when at full health. Well, that's insulting. Okay. Ogres remain probably one of the easier enemy enemies. If only because, yeah, as soon as you get behind them, you just stun lock them and then that's it. I certainly wish I had one of those healing fountains, though, that they keep talking about. They keep getting piddly potions and that's about it. And I need a little bit more than that. There we go. Huh. Actually, ogres might be even easier than I thought. I just gotta kinda lung hit them and th then nothing more. Okay, let's just... Perfect. Everything is good. Get that. Get another potion. Boy, potions do not heal me. At all quickly. Yeah, I probably should have gone for maybe one of the quicker ones. Ow. There we go. Well, I could just leave. That is where I want to go. But, as part of this... Okay, there she goes. If the skull comes... Come back, grab this. I mean, realistically, we want to grab everything in every one of these. I just hope I don't die. Randomly upgrade the rarity of one of your existing perks. Yeah, sure. Now, can I see my perks? Uh... I think it might be Skull Full of Maggots. Yeah, I think that one got upgraded. Good to know that it didn't just replace it with a higher class one. Yeah. There we go. Well, I'm definitely a danger to others slinging the skull around. Oop. Okay. Pop that. I wonder if those... 
puddles can stack. I'm just gonna wait for those to go off. Here's a question. Nope, doesn't work. Okay, pop that. I'm not. Oh no, there, there's a healing potion in the middle of that. Alright, there we go. And a whole bunch of money. Uh, my health is doing mostly fine. Now that I've learned that uh, hit and run tactics truly are king in this game. I'm utilizing them a fair bit better. Anything here? Eh, a couple of pots, a little bit of gold. Nothing more. Let's go down here. I see either a blueprint or a something else, and I want to see what it is. Hello? Oh, weapons plus one. Weapon skills upgraded. Okay. None of that. Nope. Ow. Well, that works. They all died. I'm so used to shift being like the dodge. Spacebar being the dodge, I mean, actually makes a tremendous amount of sense. Uh, but it throws me off every single time. Okay, that's the exit. Oh. Necrotism skill increased. Yeah, I don't even pretend to understand. I mean, the weapons one kind of makes sense, maybe? Okay, there we go. Well, if I could have a high rarity skull return, I'd be a happy camper. my puddles, goons. Oop. Was not expecting that to go that way. Alright, we got it. We're good. What else do we even have? Got a chest here. Plenty of money. Hopefully, I don't have to win to actually collect any of these things. I'm assuming I don't have to. I think we're good. So we have that or that. We want to go this way. Another weapon rack, another soul. Might as well grab everything I can. Ow. I didn't even notice the alchemist there. Yeah, I'm not big on their... The whole... Uh, let's see. Brain, sorry. I'm not big on, on the whole ho, uh, fireballs home in just a little bit. Because I can put a lot of distance, effectively get out of the way, but it curves and it's just like, oh, that's jerkish. I get it. I just need to be better about dodging it. Whoop. Maybe increase my own damage a smidge. Okay, well, that's not who I was... I guess it was who I was aiming at. Oh, well. Well, that didn't work. There we go. Yeah, hit and run tactics. Truly our king. Seriously. There we go. Grab a skull. Do bonk. Do bonk. Okay, remote activated. Unsurprising. Luckily, there's kind of a quick path through this. Oh, I see. Switch in the center. Also, weapon rack. There. Pick up sword. Uh, yeah. I see. Old winch gets both. Definitely not doing so hot HP wise. Oh, that's a big, that's a big ogre.
Okay. There we go. What I really need is more healing potions. I need Mestis, dang it. Oh. I'm not actually sure why I'm breaking these. I could break a bull, clutter. Ow. Thank you. Not my favorite. I should have gone for the poison damage on hit. Ah, uh, wait. No, but what's my alternative? I think my alternative was the puddles on damage. I don't know. That saved me a couple of times. Not dead yet. There he goes. At least this gets me the red key, but boy, HP is not looking. Well, that's not really where I wanted. Okay, got him. Get my head back. So with games where you throw your skull as a skeleton. It's not actually that many games that let you do it, but there's enough that is weird. Okay. Well, the nice part is I can just get hella puddly. Yeah, what was the other game where I could throw my head as a skeleton? I know there's another roguelike where you specifically would like swing your head around like a mace, but I think it was bad. I don't remember playing it. I think I put like some time into it. Uh. Okay. There we go. I'm just gonna puddle the hell out of this guy. There we go. You can't stop me if you're puddled. I mean, you can. We're gonna run into an enemy with more ranged attacks, like faster ones or more frequent ones, and I'm gonna be in trouble. There we go. Really could do without the flashing. Okay, got all of this. Just her? Oh, that's it. Wow. Okay, scimitar. I'll take it. It looks like Yeah, I got the I got the singular perk from here. Alright, one last level. Working for the failed necromancer. I'll grind your bones into the dust. Into dust. Oh boy. At least I see a Oh, good. At least I see a healing potion. Alright. Hit him with that. And get him- get behind this guy. I do a ton of damage. Which is quite nice. Well, a ton. I do an approximately high value damage. I could not hit that rap. Okay, welcome to Goo Hall. Unfortunately, I think there's no enemies nearby. Yeah, nothing. Nothing to really benefit. Never mind. Here we are. Come, join me in the Goo Hall. Ow. I guess it went away faster than I would have liked. Maybe I should have left it. Waited. Fine. Okay, they turn on a dime way faster than the ogres. It's a little unfortunate because I kind of have to panic play here. Do not hit me. Foul alchemist. Okay. 
Boy, they lose interest quick. There we go. I think I killed the other one. Yeah, I just beamed her with a with a skull, and it was that was it. I I know for a fact we have a fountain. Which is big news. I've been needing one of those for a while. Big problem is... Dang. Yeah, the problem is the skull has a bit of an auto-aim to it. And that means I can't trick shot, into, trick shot it into explosive barrels. There they go. I feel like I should get something extra for doing that. You know, combo hits. No, nah, didn't get him. It's okay. If there's like a spear that I can do, I don't know. Hold to heal. Hell yeah. Okay. And we've got a one perk left. Let's go grab it. I don't know if it's going to be any good. Another healing potion. Tons of gold. And what do you got for me? Yeah, ooh. Nah, hothead. I'm all about chucking my, my head at things. All right, let's see. Probably a lot of bad boys kind of in this general area. Benefit is, there we go. Benefit is my skull is that much stronger. Boop. Okay. Pop him with that. Let's just keep making it generally, genuinely uninhabitable. There we go. Okay. Boss is still there. We want to leave him for kind of last. I'm gonna leave most of these breakables. There we go. Because, yeah, I should be able to cheese him through a lot. Unless he's hyper aggressive. He could be hyper aggressive. Many of these enemies are. Nope. I mean, he's got bombs. Ooh. He's got. Yeah. It seems to be his his thing. But here's the thing. Two can play at the ranged weapon game. Welcome to Poison Town. It's heck here. Yeah, it looks like There we go. We're good. Got a bunch of those. Target slain. Drink some potion. And we can just teleport back freely. Yeah, because there's no other... There's no real exit. Well, let's see how the meta progression works in this game. Alright, so we good? We good. Congrats on slaying your our first enemy. I see you got some bloodstones from your quest. Gather enough bloodstones and we'll be able to unlock the path towards reclaiming your throne. Okay, so we've got the stash, which has some random garbage in it, uh, but the random stuff that we found. Gear Vendor lets me buy a better hammer. Special skill increased by two. Anyone who hits you takes 80% incoming damage. Uh, gain elated for five seconds after dodging an attack. Sword, scimitar, may, uh, maybe other things. Perks discovered. Various perks. Eh, it looks like there's not too many, but there are co-op perks. Trinkets. Pretty uninteresting in that one. Monsterpedia. Rats. Upgrades. This is what I'm looking for. So, weapon skill increases damage from weapon primary attack. Oh, so maybe that permanent... Those things that I got that increased it by a little bit might actually be permanent? Character bonus. Uh, maybe not. Unvitality increases max health. Damage from special attacks. Skill uh, damage originating from the skull. Uh, max armor. Increases loot gold and higher chance of rare loot and perks. So investing a lot into luck seems like a good idea. Lightning, poison, fire, necrotism, blood bank. Percentage of bloodstone saved on death and dodging. 
interesting. I mean, frankly? Let's see. 3% 3 per, 3 chance. Mm, that's not great. That's okay. So bloodstones are just used on the quest map, yeah? Yeah, so it looks like we're trying to get this. There's also ascension levels and a bunch of other things. But unfortunately, we've lost all of our perks and a bunch of other bits. And yeah, I'm going to have to clear a number of these just to even get to this one. Okay, endless challenges. Yeah, so I have to complete a region or clear the game once. Will grant me endless deep coliseum. Cool. Got it. All right, this makes sense. It's exactly kind of like what I said in the very beginning of this. It's very much a classic 10 tons game. Comfort food in gaming form. It doesn't necessarily like push the bounds that there's some kind of fun combos with chucking your skull, skull at things. And I know eventually we get access to other skeletons that we get to play as. Which hopefully maybe introduces some interesting complexity as well. What does this do? Oh, st stat statistics, got it. I appreciate the whole like, hit enemy with skull, poison the heck out of them, and laugh. I think that was a, a decent system. I'm curious if there's anything else to be done in here, but it doesn't really look like it. I think probably the biggest progression is going to be finding better and better gear and really working with it. But I'm not actually sure. Yeah, the higher quality doesn't actually give you better stats. It's just that perk that you're buying. Which is good to know in ev even in of its own self. So. Yeah, this isn't really that helpful. I don't even heal that often. So boots, probably find a better weapon at some point. Mostly just hope for things with good perks and rarer perks, which means probably just investing more and more into luck for now. But anyway, I think this is a good stopping point. So Skeletal Avenger, Avenger is out. Is it out? I mean, it's out by the time this video goes up. I know that's that's for certain. Yep, it's already been out for a day. Perfect. And it is 17 bucks normally and 12.75 uh, if you're buying it on launch week, which you know, as far as 10 tons games go, that I mean, it's really just par for course. I, I feel like I'm more, more or less just confirming for most people that know who 10 tons is like, yeah, this is just this is one of their games uh, and I appreciate it. I love how consistent they are and they're kind of fun. Maybe at some point I will grab somebody for co-op or maybe I'll just kind of put this one back on the shelf and come back later. I don't know. But for now, if you guys like this video in any way, shape, or form, leave me a like, helps more than you know. And if you want to see more, hit subscribe, because, yeah, I got a ton of games to check out every single day. And they do not stop coming. But with that, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.